So what is Slack? Slack is a collaboration hub. It's a place where you can work with others to collaborate, share ideas, share files. It has threads, which are organized conversations where you start with something, a question, a comment, a topic, and people reply. You've probably seen this in other places. If you ever used LinkedIn or Facebook or other different um, softwares like that, you'll see those threaded conversations. Uh, Microsoft Teams has it as well. So it might not be something that is completely foreign to you, but Slack has you know, just some different ways of organizing that information. So we're going to look at that. But that's the idea is it's a great way to work with other people. You can organize your files, your thoughts, your ideas, and you can search those. So you have this history that has a nice search engine where you can type in something that you're looking for. Maybe you know that two weeks ago you talked about the logo that you're going to use for your new website. You can just search for logo, you can see the conversation about it, and then if you've added that file and it's called logo, you can see the file as well. So that searchable history, really great. We're gonna look at that. You also have the ability to work with external users, which is great. So maybe you're using this for your organization where you work, and so you have your people within the organization, but you have some outside people that you're working on a project with, maybe someone from another law firm, maybe another client. You can have them work together in Slack, and so you can share those ideas and files with outside people. So that's a really nice feature as well. We're gonna actually look at three different versions of Slack. So you have what's called the desktop version where you actually have to download the software and you run it from your local PC. We're gonna look at that. So you have that option. That's going to have the most features. So as I go through some of these videos, you might hear me say, this is only available in the desktop version. And so that means I've downloaded that software and I'm using the desktop version. That's different from the web version. So the web version means you can use it from any machine, any device really, with an internet connection. So if you can just go to that browser and you type in your workspace, we'll talk about what a workspace is later, but you type in that address into your you know, Chrome, Safari, Edge, Internet Explorer, whatever browser you're working with, you can access Slack through that web version. And then there's actually a mobile app as well. So of course you could go to a browser on your Android or your iPhone and you could you know, navigate that way. But just like with many other applications, there's an app you can download in you know, the Apple Store, for example, or you, know, you can get on your Android too. So you, we're gonna actually do that. I'm going to show you on my iPhone what Slack looks like on the mobile version. So three different ways to access it, which is great. That makes it really versatile, and it means you can kind of you know, communicate with your team wherever you are in whichever way you need to. But sometimes I'm going to say you can only you know, share your screen with the desktop version or whatever it is. So that's what I mean. We're going to look at the different versions. But then, to complicate things a little more, there's three different plan types. So there's a free one. Anyone can use Slack for free, which is great. So, you know, if you're just starting off, you can try the free one. I'm going to be using the standard one in the course as we go through it. So the standard one has some more features that the free one doesn't. And again, you're going to hear me say sometimes, you know, this is not available in the free one. It's only in standard. And then plus is a little extra, obviously, by the name. And you're, there might be times where I'll say this is only available in Plus, or if you have Plus, you get you know this, something a little more. But if you have free, you're still fine to follow along, and you're going to be able to do most of what I am. But you can see, hmm, is that feature something I really would want? Maybe I want to try the, the Standard or Plus. And the pricing, you can find that if you Google that on Slack's page. So that's what Slack is. We'll look at it very quickly here before we delve in in some more videos. But this is my Slack sort of hub here. And I have my channels, which we're going to talk about. I've got a little thread going that I can show you. This is somebody asking, you know, do we have that logo? And I can see the replies over here. I think Ellen Wilson has it. I do, I'll send it along. So you can see there's a different conversation going on here. And so we're going to be looking at this in all of the different videos. I just want to give you an idea of what is Slack when we talk about it. So that's what it is, Collaboration Hub. Let's get to it.